Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a brand new Marble Race tournament I've never done before. And I don't know if anyone else has done this, probably at some point, but I don't know. Uh, this is definitely the first time I've done it. So anyways, this is the Funnel Escape tournament. Basically, before I explain how it works, I think we should go over the roster. As you can see, we have four competitors, which each have their own team, with each team containing four marbles each. And before we get started with the actual tournament, uh, let's just go ahead and take a quick look at our uh, our competitors. We have Snowflake, Lemonade, Nebula, and Insanity. So, the way this tournament works is that it's kind of like um, Teamwork Racing by m &H Racing, but which is a tournament I've never done, but... This is still a little bit different. So the way it's gonna work is that the, in each round, one member of each team will go down our pretty small course. And the goal is simple, make it um, out of the funnel in time and get to the finish. But of course, just like with pretty much all my other tournaments, there's a twist. And that is that the marbles have to get through that funnel before the big marble gets through the funnel and as a result blocks off the exit any marbles that make it will um be safe but any marbles that don't make it because they'll get st stuck as you can see here will be eliminated and that team will have one less marble and we'll keep on doing this until there's only one team left so it's kind of like an elimination tournament sort of except we have teams so anyways, let's get started with the first round. Now that I think about it, this tournament is basically the opposite of the Marboxing tournament I did a few seasons ago, because in that tournament, the goal was to stay in the funnel for as long as possible. And here, the goal is pretty much the opposite. You have to get out of the funnel before the big marble comes in and blocks it off. And by the way, the big marble will be released once all four marbles make it to the, um, to the funnel, so. Anyways, now that you know all the rules, let's get started. Three, two, one, go. All right, Insanity makes it, Snowflake makes it, which is close. Nebula just barely makes it, but Lemonade does not, and Lemonade has lost one marble. So now I think you, you're starting to see how this works. As you can see, the less team members you have, the more likely you are to be eliminated. So that's kind of why this is similar to Teamwork Racing. And speaking of Teamwork Racing, I don't think I'll ever do it, but I'll definitely do this instead. <laughs> All right, time for the second round. Let's get started with the second round. Let's see who will make it and who won't. Three, two, one, go. Insanity and Snowflake make it. And Lemonade makes it. But Nebula does not make it. But hey, at least this time Lemonade was able to avoid losing another marble. So, sorry um, Nebula, but you did not make it in time. And you have lost another marble. So here's the standing so far. So now we have two marbles tied for first place and two marbles that are tied for last place. Alright, time for round three. Alright, let's see what will happen this time. Three, two, one, go. Insanity. Yeah, Insanity is not making it. Yeah, it looks like Insanity has lost one marble. Alright, looking at the updated standings, it looks like Snowflake is the only marble with a full team left. But the other marbles can still win this. Alright, we're about to find out if Team Snowflake is going to be able to keep a full team or if they'll lose their first marble. So, let's see what will happen. 3, 2, 1, go! Team Snowflake makes 
know if it took a while to get to the funnel, but they're right back in the action. Oh, Team Snowflake makes it, but everyone else doesn't. Wow, looks like once again, Team Snowflake is able to just easily avoid elimination. And they still have a full team member. And now, in this round, we have a triple elimination. Wow. Okay then, so here's what the standings look like now. Looks like things are looking pretty good for Team Wave so far. I mean, Team Snowflake. I renamed Wave to Snowflake a few weeks ago, and I'm still used to calling them Wave. Um, but yeah, those are the standings so far. All right, let's see what's gonna happen now. Three, two, one, go. Lemonade makes it. Nebula is gonna make it, I think. Yep, ne Nebula makes it. Insanity makes it, and things aren't looking good for Snowflake. <laughs> Unbelievable, Sn Snowflake is just unstoppable. All four marbles made it, so no marbles are, no teams are losing any team members this time. Wow, looks like the big marble was extra slow that round by the looks of it. And once again, uh, Snowflake is completely undefeated with, as they still have a full team. So yeah, that's quite strange. Well, I guess that means the scoreboards are gonna look as the same as they did in the last round. Wow, this is just unbelievable. I really didn't expect any teams to still have a full team this far into the competition, but hats off to you, Team Snowflake. This is actually really impressive, but you're gonna have to survive again if you want to keep a full team. So let's see if, if this will be Snowflake's first elimination, or if they will manage to survive yet again. I guess let's find out. Three, two, one, go. is the last marble to make it today to the funnel. Not good, but it looks like they're going to make it. And yes, Team Snowflake makes it. Team Nebula makes it, but it looks like the other two teams are all in there. Yep, they are. Looks like, um, once again, looks like we have Insanity and Lemonade that just lost their marble. And here's the standing so far. Once again, for like the millionth time, Snowflake has managed to avoid elimination, and unfortunately for these two marbles, they're now the only marbles left on their team. Looks like Team Insanity and Team Lemonade are in danger of being permanently eliminated, so that's not good. Let's see if they can actually make it through, because you never know, they could just uh, never get eliminated for the rest of the tournament and win the whole thing, but then again, it's gonna be hard to take Team Snowflake down when they still have all their marbles left so yeah but you never know this tournament is pretty unpredictable so now that we have gotten to the point where there's only one marble left and in not one but two teams and we're pretty far into the competition i figured that it's about time we switch things up to make things more intense we now have two big marbles that's right i figured that this would be the perfect way to step things up the competition's about to get even more intense Let's see who will make it and who won't in this next round. All right, let's see what happens now. Three, two, one, go. All right, Insanity makes it, Nebula makes it. Ooh, nice try, Lemonade. You did not make it, and for the first time in this entire tournament, Snowflake has actually lost a marble. And so has Lemonade. And now I realize that since that's Lo Lemonade's last marble, they are out of the competition. And now we only have three teams left. So yeah, congratulations, Insanity and, and Nebula. You live to see another day. And unfortunately for Team Lemonade, they are out. And now Team Snowflake no longer having a full team after having it for like over half the tournament. So, here's the standings now, as you can see, now it looks like Nebula isn't too far behind Snowflake now. I guess we'll see what happens in the next round.
All right, three teams left. Let's see who will make it. Three, two, one, go. <coughs> Insanity makes it once again. Ooh, this is close. And Snowflake barely makes it. But Nebula has lost to Marvel, and now Nebula only has one team member left. And team looks like Team Snowflake is still doing fantastic with a decent three marbles left. But everyone else only has one remaining. Let's see what will happen next round. All right, let's see what will happen now. Wow, I have said that a lot in this video. Three, two, one, go. All right, looks like um, Insanity made it, Nebula made it. But Snowflake will not make it. Wow. That was pretty close, but uh, the two teams that only have one marble left were able to avoid elimination once again. And now the tables are turning for Team Snowflake. They only have two marbles left. I guess we'll see what will happen in the next round. By the way, have you subscribed yet? Three, two, one, go! close already. I feel like only one marble's gonna make it. Oh, wow. Within less than a second of the exit getting blocked off, it looks like the only marble that made it is Insanity. And that means that, uh, once again, Snowflake loses one marble. And now Nebula is eliminated for the rest of the competition. We've now gotten down to the last two teams, which are, of course, Snowflake and, uh, um, and Insanity. And wow, there's only one left in each team. Can you believe that? Looks like this is gonna be a very interesting finale. All right, so the final round for this tournament is gonna be a little bit different from all of the other tournaments I've done. Actually, a lot different. Basically, what's gonna happen is that I was originally gonna do a best two out of three, but after testing it, honestly, didn't really work that well with this tournament. So what we're going to do instead is this. Basically, what's going to happen is that the marbles will go down the course as usual, and of course the big marbles will come down as well. However, how it's going to work is that there will be multiple races, and in each one, in each round, whichever marble manages to finish the course, if any of them do, will get a point. And the first marble to get three points will win the tournament. If both marbles get stuck, then no points are earned, and we'll have to retry the round. All right, and also we have yet another twist. In this final round, instead of the marbles facing off against these two moderately big marbles, they'll have to face off against the biggest one of them all. And yeah, other than that, it basically works the same way. But obviously the big marbles, they take up even more space and therefore will be a lot harder to avoid. So let's go ahead and get into the first match of the final round. All right, so just a quick reminder, the objective for the final round is to get three points, which is what you need to do in order to win. To get a point, you have to make it through the funnel and be the first marble to get through there. So let's see what happens now in this first round. Three, two, one, go. And we're releasing the big marble early. It's not gonna be easy, the marbles are getting knocked around. But Insanity makes it. And, and it looks like a Snowflake just cannot get through, and it looks like Insanity is the marble that gets the first point. Now Insanity just has to win two more times in order to win the tournament. All right, here goes the second match. Three, two, one, go. Quite a while to get out of the starting gate. I feel like it's gonna be tricky for them to get through this big old marble. But it looks like Insanity might have it. Yes, Insanity makes it. 
And sorry, Snowflake, but you were once again too slow. And it looks like Insanity will get the second point. They just need to win one more time in order to win this tournament. All right, this could potentially be the last match if Insanity wins, because of course, right now, Insanity has two points and they just need one more to win. But of course, Snowflake could still come back and win the whole thing, considering that they were literally the team that kept the, the full set of marbles for the longest time. So you never know, they could fluke this and win the whole thing. I guess we'll see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Snowflake might have the lead, but they're getting bumped around by the big marble. Is anyone gonna make it? Oh, no, they're not. Wow, looks like no one actually managed to win that round. I guess that means we're gonna have to do it again, because no points are awarded if none of the marbles finish. So let's see what will happen this time. Three, two, one, go. Here we go again, let's see what will happen. And wow, that was very fast. It looks like Snowflake actually got the win. So it looks like Snowflake now has one point and they just need to win two more times to win. So now the scores are two and one. Let's see if, if uh, we will potentially see our next champion the next round or if Snowflake will win again, I guess. Let's see what happens. All right. We're getting close to the very end of the tournament. Let's see what will happen now. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, that was very close. It, it, the big marble tried to bump, tried to bump Snowflake out of the way, but Snowflake was able to sneak by at the perfect moment. And it looks like Snowflake will get the second point. Can you believe that? All of a sudden, both marbles are tied for two points. So whoever wins the next round wins the game. What are the chances? And this is it, the final match for all the marbles. Pun intended. <laughs> Anyways, let's see who will take it. No more time wasted. Three, two, one, go. And wow, that was like the shortest round ever. It looks like the marble that won is Insanity. Congratulations, Insanity. You, um, you like got through the funnel in literally the fastest time I've ever seen. Sorry, Snowflake, you are runner up, but you still did pretty good. So it looks like Insanity, the newcomer who first joined this season, is moving on to the Tournament of Champions. Thank you guys for watching this tournament. Oh, and I don't really have much else to say, so see you guys next time.